Hello, Hiroja Shai Pierre with another Hiroja Stock Bubble, and I'm here to talk about security and Bitcoin. I was recently inspired by something I saw outside of my Circle K uh, convenience store, and I thought it was very strange that there was like basically literally a safe sitting out for two weeks outside my store and the store that I go to all the time. And so I just took some pictures and just made me think and examine that this is what it takes to secure a fiat. Uh, before I get really into my thought, I just want to state that I recently was on um, James Bond's YouTube channel and uh, he was gracious enough to have me on there. I have a link in the show notes to the episode, but I highly encourage you not only to to listen and watch our episode. It's about, you know, it's a long one. It's about two hours long. You can always have it in the background or if you're someone who has a commute and uses data, maybe you can listen to it in the background there. It's very informal, um, very informational, and I think you'll very much enjoy it. Uh, again, I'll have a link in the show notes. Uh, but we we, caught, we talked all sorts of different types of topics. And uh, one of the things was just the, uh, the way and the nature of just thinking about cryptocurrency in general, which kind of inspired me um, not only to do this um, episode with these pictures, but to, to kind of reexamine the issue of security in this space. You know, How do you properly secure your cryptocurrency, your Bitcoin, your Dogecoin? What does it take? Are we being babies? Are we being bitches about this? Or is there some kind of failing on our part as a community to develop some ease of usage or security? So securing coins is very important. So if you look at this device, it has two money slots in. It's, you know, all metals, obviously steel is well constructed as a little display outlet and you know this big hunk of metal was nailed to the ground inside the store for the purpose of securing the cash and I don't know if you ever done a retail or you know done dealt with anything in the cash but securing it is it's very um, important but most importantly like if you ever had to deal with the register you're not supposed to have a certain amount of cash in your register for the simple purpose of you get robbed there goes the money so you always have to you know, take your money out, hand it to the key holder or whoever's in charge a certain amount of money. Or in some cases, you put the money in these different slots. Um, and in some cases, when you need to get change out, like you need more ones or whatever, you put like a 20 or 10 or whatever you have, and it put it drops out um, the necessary funds, like the, the coins. If you look out here, these are coin slots. Yeah, looking a little closer, these are the coin slots, nickels, dimes, pennies. Um either inputting or pushing out so you pull the stuff out uh, there's at that display right there and yeah so this is what it takes to secure funds and it was just mind-boggling to me that uh, they obviously needed to switch out the machine it looks like it's pretty well made but obviously um, it's behind the times it's made by the Sentinel company I've heard of them before those are the slots so those are the money slots you put your money in and stuff like that. And just made me think of how babyish we are. Look at these handles for these uh, safes right here to, that holds the money um, that gets pulled out or secured. That we can't remember 12 economic fa uh, word phrases for securing our Bitcoin or our cryptocurrency. And it made me think about, you know, we used to remember telephone numbers. I remember I had to remember my, you know, my home number, my school number, my work number, my friend's number, their parents' number in some cases, you know. It just made me think of all in general how we're, maybe we're too playful with cryptocurrency. Maybe we're not taking it as seriously as we should, uh, even though it has a, a significant high value. I think people are still playing with it like it's uh, monopoly money. And think of all that with those pictures are showing with that safe. That doesn't count for the fact, you know, them dropping the money, counting the money, uh, the fact that they still get like credit and debit cards. It's not just simply cash. Um, you know, you have luminous trucks that come in and cart the money. The entire process to secure just fiat is very cumbersome. Yes, um, it's gotten better, it's gotten faster, it's very expedited, um, it's much easier than maybe days pass or whatever, but it's still cumbersome. And here we are dealing with something that's the internet about connection 
um, and ones and zeros, and we're we're having a hard time securing it. And, you know, I personally, you know, I've lost money through scams and web wallets and failure to remember my password or my 12 word password and things of that nature. And I've gotten much better about it since learning from that experience. But I don't know if there's an easier way for us to do it. Um, I don't know if there's even a desire to do so. I mean, I know I've seen stuff with hardware wallets, uh, you know, one dime six, which I talked about on James Bond's YouTube channel. Um, there's, you know, the Ledger Nanos and things of that nature. Um, people are mobile devices. Um, that's where people are connected. So they have these web wallets securing their phones. I know James Bond mentioned about a guy that had his laptop and he had 95 Bitcoins that were taken from him because it was um, in the open in essence at a, over a public Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And it just, it made me think if this is what it was invested for fiat, what are we not doing to invest in security of our cryptos? What are we not doing to make this a solid um, ease of usage, very convenient, but still secure way for people to secure their wealth? If we want people to have uh, be their own bank, we need to give them all the tools necessary for them to be their own bank. And one of the key things is securing your wealth. And I'm not quite seeing that build up. Or I should say I'm not seeing enough effort on the part, or maybe I'm just not in the right spots or places to secure Bitcoin. I know a lot is going in the hardware space, but we also need to think about phones and um, desktops and um, electronic means as well. Um, too many people are on their devices. That's just the nature of the fact of the world we live in today. And if you really wanna to connect to the masses, as people say globally, everyone's mobile. They're not having desktops. They just don't have the infrastructure. They've skipped past that. They're at mobile devices. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you very much for listening to me. Um, you can always support me through here, uh, through the links below. Again, um, I want to thank James Bond um, of James Bond's YouTube channel for having me on his YouTube channel. There's links below. I encourage you to watch the video as well as subscribing to his channel. And to the moon, y'all.